so we started uh, way back in the 1960s uh, actually 1969 with our first urea plant so you know we started selling uh, chemical fertilizer to farmers in a day and age when farmers were not using any fertilizer at all mm -hmm. so you know we started working with farmers from those days and uh, you know why i mentioned this is that historically you know it has been in our sort of blood then to really work with the farmers to train the farmers to educate the farmers on any new technology that comes up so we started then with the uh, uh, fertilizers but over the last five decades we added a lot to our portfolio uh, starting with the seeds and then with crop care chemicals and uh, in the last two decades uh, with the category called specialty nutrition products mm -hmm. so these are the three verticals that the farm solution business now focuses on you know we have climate change happening mm -hmm. we have uh, so climate change by itself is expected to bring down the yields in the next 30 40 years and we don't see any reversal of you know climate change so that means that plant or the crop has to be able to withstand the stress that climate change poses and therefore the type of agri inputs that we need today are very very different from the type of agri inputs that we have used let's say in the past 3 4 5 decades so accordingly shri ram farm solution business has also you know changed its direction to focus on research uh, and development of new technology products which can be of use to the farmer in the coming uh, days and eight uh, years at the same time you know some of the bulk fertilizer kind of products which are very commoditized products mm -hmm. and where increasingly you know uh, the government and you know industry as well as world over everybody is realizing that you know these products need to undergo a change and we need products which have with a far better nutrient efficiency uptake so we are also changing our direction in that way farmers also you know for farmers also the change uh, you know the real game changers in the future will be in these three verticals mm -hmm. so for example when we we'll have stress we will need stress tolerant varieties in seeds we will need seeds which can withstand terminal heat we we will need seeds which can you know withstand um, flood pressure and all that mm -hmm. similarly in nutrition the specialty nutrition vertical in that vertical we are developing products which will overcome some of the deficiencies of the bulk fertilizers for example today one challenge that everybody has realized is that when we apply bulk fertilizers to the crop uh, to the soil you know uh, a good percentage of that is just uh, going into the soil or it is going into the air so it's only adding to i mean it's an adding to pollution rather than nutrition so whereas now in new newer technologies there are several products which can offer a better nutrient efficiency or nutrient uptake by the plant so there are many new technologies which are coming up so okay. these are uh, we believe these are the products which will be the products of the future we would be dealing with about uh, 3000 uh, first level uh, channel partners and at least 35000 retailers mm -hmm. so that means 35 35000 retail points except for the three south indian states of andhra karnataka and tamil nadu we deal in the whole of the country including northeast mm -hmm. and uh, in terms of farmers the numbers could be very large and it will obviously run into millions i would say uh, but you know would be anywhere you know plus 1 million i, I guess so you know uh, if you look at the uh, revenue terms you know we were 700 and about 760 crores last year and and uh, we have grown about 6% over the previous figures but the difference here is that you know uh, the previous figures also include some bulk fertilizers which we are now removing from the portfolio mm -hmm. so if we see like to like we've grown about 16% in revenue terms as far as e-commerce is concerned there are two types of changes which are taking place with uh, number one is that there are several uh, startups or several uh, e-commerce companies who are trying to do the final sale as in retailer to farmer sale 
okay so this is also expanding uh, for sure mm -hmm. and you know especially with the covid experience and all it is only expected to grow more and more i would say that you know it is all dependent on the capability of these e-commerce companies that you know how deep they can go in the interior areas as far as i know uh, companies like amazon have started reaching the you know district level and uh, in some places even tehsil level deliveries are being done so a lot of these e-commerce companies are reaching to the district level and the uh, tehsil level so farmers around those district uh, headquarters and tehsil headquarters have started ordering and so you know this will only grow this is something that will only grow mm -hmm. how fast and you know uh, it can uh, sort of uh, i would say become a challenge to the traditional channel is uh, slightly difficult to say at this moment but there is no doubt that farmers are looking at internet farmers are do are doing e-commerce and it is only expected to go up you know touchwood uh, ritwik our business uh, actually did very well in even in the first quarter uh, we i mean at the revenue terms we grew by 6% again but there was the fertilizer factor if i compare like to like we grew by 26% mm -hmm. okay so 26% growth in the revenue terms and bottom line terms almost two and a half times uh, this is i would say that the reason was that agriculture was going on in the in the normal way uh, thankfully because uh, you know agriculture is far widespread uh i must also say that you know in the initial days in, in the month of april may there was also a bit of a panic because of the covid and therefore uh, you know everybody the trade also wanted to do some advance buying and the farmer also wanted to do some advance buying and not wait for you know later months so that is also uh, one of the reasons uh, for this good growth but overall i mean uh, this quarter uh, was fairly good for us i would say that there are two developments here if you look at the outlook one is that the monsoon has been fairly good at the end of the day and you know it will lead to good uh, availability of moisture for the next uh, season which is rabi season mm -hmm. uh, but the second uh, unfortunate development is that covid is entering the rural areas okay and now we are having more and more incidents of covid in the smaller towns and in you know tehsil headquarters and even in villages and all in fact in a lot of areas you know uh, uh, i mean it may also be going people may be asymptomatic or it may be going undetected so that i guess is a slightly negative development which may have an impact on you know how business runs because at the end of the day how does it impact businesses when lockdowns are imposed and you know when shop timings are changed by the local administration but that is something that the local administration has to do because they have to control so therefore i would keep my fingers crossed as far as the future uh, next quarter uh, next 6 months is concerned you know as i said uh, initially that you know we are uh, focusing on research and alongside research we are also focusing on you know getting technology from across the world and so as far as medium term is concerned uh, i think our focus is completely on bringing in new technology products and so we will uh, we will have an aggressive approach to bringing uh, the newer technology products because we believe that is what the farmers need for example seeds by itself is a big uh, you know differentiator mm -hmm. uh, seeds we all know that seeds make a huge difference to the eventual outcome of the crop and uh, seeds is one category where the farmers also do not hesitate to you know uh, sort of uh, they if they get the good quality or a new technology so seeds definitely is going to be an area where you know uh, there would be you know uh, good growth and good newer varieties coming up uh, both in hybrids as well as in the research seeds at the same time the specialty nutrition space as i mentioned to you a little while back is also going through a, a big change because there is much better acceptance amongst the farmers today of all these uh, uh, specialty nutrition products uh, i am talking of products like micronutrients water soluble fertilizers or customized fertilizers 
we don't mind doing that you know wherever we have to source a technology from a from an international company we are doing that also we already have three companies with whom we have a collaboration it could be more collaborations or it could be more products from the same collaborations but you know completely looking at uh, where we can get the best technology